Hey folks, Madam is here. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna take advantage of it and show you guys our 1814 yurt. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the yurt. This is the 1814 yurt. It's a combination of an 18 foot yurt and a 14 foot yurt combined together in somewhat of a figure eight pattern. Uh, it's the first one that I've ever done like this uh, and it's honestly the first one that I've kind of seen permanently set up this way. Uh, there's some other really neat yurts in terms of uh, tent rentals and large setups which have multiple yurts tied in together and it come kind of inspired this project. So we went about this project starting in 2019 with the construction of the platform. We got through that into the late fall around this time, winter hit, and we continued the project in the spring. I built the entirety of this yurt, the platform, the floor, the outhouse, and everything around it myself, uh, and set it up by myself. It is a doable project. complicated, very uh, time consuming, and there are a lot of repetitive processes, but building your own yurt is uh, just an amazing experience. The walls of this yurt are actually from the second yurt I built. Uh, that would have been around 2008. And I lived in this yurt for a winter. Uh, out in a remote property in Northern Ontario. I learned a lot about living in a yurt and about building yurts and a lot of stuff. So it's really neat that I was able to reuse these walls uh, for this yurt. The 14 foot yurt is built from walls that we constructed during one of our yurt building workshops. So uh, on a good year We'll do one or two workshops where we take a handful of people through the process of building a yurt from start to finish over two days. Uh, again, amazingly rewarding experience to take raw materials and turn them into a structure uh, in, in such a short time frame. So the walls come from that and the poles as well. So I was able to combine these two yurts together and build an 1814 combination yurt. Uh, which we currently have available on our farm uh, for rental for guests who want to come stay uh, through Airbnb and enjoy a couple days of small farm living. The 18 foot yurt is equipped with a wood stove set up to wet certification and the 14 foot yurt is kind of the bedroom yurt where we have our queen bed um, and just kind of staged. This would be a perfect size for tiny house living. Uh, you could easily have a small kitchenette instead of a couple couches, um, a bookshelf, a desk, your bed. It's 
yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this is the size I wish I would have done when I had built my second yurt. Um, yeah, and got a little bigger. The floor is a uh, pine board, planed on one side, on top of particle board, which lays on top of the framing for the floor. The 18 foot year has tighter spacing on the slats versus the 18, or sorry, the 14. And that's just a style difference. Something I switched to after I built the um, 18 foot year originally. One of my favorite things is the acrylic dome that sits atop the center of the yurt it uh, it provides so much beautiful sunlight into the interior and uh, it just yeah it just feels so so much more homely with it the windows are sewn from a marine grade um, plastic and secured with Velcro uh, so that you can open and close, get some ventilation. The six inch insulated stove pipe for the wood stove. It was a little expensive, but a hundred percent worth it. The year itself, the bottom of the canvas is a fabrine material, waterproof, and the rest is canvas covered with one large poly tarp cut to fit. This protects the canvas, super important, and for the double year it also provides waterproofing for the V where the two yurts meet because otherwise there would be some serious water issues. I'll let you guys know how winter goes. I'm a little concerned about snow load in that um, with that tarp, but we're going to see. Um, it's a uh, it's a couple hundred dollars in poly tarp to cover your couple thousand dollars in canvas. Uh, it really protects it and increases the longevity. So highly recommended. Um, the tarp, you'll probably get about two years out of the tarp before you'll start knowing, noticing that uh, there'll be some serious wear and tear, possibly some leaking. It's not too bad because the canvas of the yurt itself is watertight and has been built to last with only the canvas. However, the poly tarp is, uh, yeah, it's super recommended for the longevity of it. Barbecue out front, little deck for sitting. Little campfire pit, picnic table, and beautiful view. Part of the yurt experience here on the farm is just taking in the farm. Finally, probably the most important part of a tiny house is the tiny throne. This is a nice size outhouse built with a hand wash station on the front. It's a classic uh, pit outhouse. The hand wash station uh, has been hooked up to a gray water pit, a pit that I had to dig so that I could have proper permitting through the North Bay Matawa Conservation Authority. The uh, pooping hole, they didn't care about. It's a class one water system. But uh, you want to brush your teeth, wash your hands, 
Class 2 water system. Permitting required. Go pick. And just a simple washroom with a beautiful view. I'll need to finish doing the rocks pathway and we'll probably store some firewood in this area. If you guys have any questions about the build process, uh, about yurts, comment in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm more than happy to help answer questions. Uh, I, I know I'm a little behind on my yurt building videos, and that's just the, uh, just the way of life. So I plan on uh, building another yurt this winter and taking that time to catalog and document the process some more. For everybody here uh, who's interested in building their own yurts. Take care everybody. If you want to see more about our yurts, our yurt building, uh, and what we have going on on the farm, you can subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel here, uh, hit the like button, and uh, go check us out over on Instagram at Foxfire Heritage Farm. Uh, we're constantly posting updates and stories about what's kind of happening here and uh, come check us out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy farming. We'll see you guys next time.